Hello, it's Chris from Chris and the Credit Pouring. We're based in the UK and thank you for joining me today. I'm delighted to announce that this video is a collaboration between two wonderful artists, Dwight Myers and Natalie Lenderman. It's always lovely to collaborate with different artists. You're bouncing up ideas and usually the results are really lovely. Dwight is a wonderful artist. He's based in America and you may recognise some of his um, dump and swirl and puddle and pour swirl um, paintings. They're truly beautiful. So recently he's been looking to do landscape paintings and we've been chatting about them and we realised that we both absolutely love clouds and landscapes and stormy skies. So this was the inspiration behind this collaboration. Dwight came up with the theme which was cloudscapes. Natalie's from Germany and recently moved to San Francisco. She does these beautiful landscape pours. Her paint's relatively thin, but she manipulates the paint when it's wet using palette knives and various different implements. Natalie also uses a lot of house paint and for someone who only started pouring at the end of 2020, I find her work really lovely. So it's definitely worth checking out her YouTube channel and her Facebook page. When I heard the theme cloudscapes, I immediately thought of just something airy and light. And this was a test piece I did just to kind of crystallise my ideas. It's only on a small canvas, but I find the space and air in it is really beautiful. And it's just really refreshingly simple with bands of colours and some silver at the top to give a shimmer. I've based my painting for this collaboration on this painting and I hope you enjoy the video. It's not a huge canvas, but it's a nice deep one. Um, it's a 25 by 25. So these two cups are going to be kind of land or reflected sea, lovely horizon line, dark cloud, and then silver cloud. It's very simple, very limited color palette, and hopefully it will look quite striking. For this painting, I'm using a really stripped back colour palette and it's all very neutral. I'm just trying to keep it very calm, but there are going to be flashes of darkness. The only true colours you're going to see are the sky blue light and the paint's grey, even though it dries really darkly, it's got a blue undertone. So where it mixes with any of the lighter colours, you're going to see hints of blue. Metallic silver is going to give a kind of um, shimmer to the painting where I've used it and it just adds a bit more depth to the, this really simple painting. I made a mess of my canvas when I was filling my cups. So let's just do this quickly. So that's the kind of land, kind of sea part. It's all very neutral. I want it to be not halfway so it's kind of in the lower third. This is the um, horizon. And then dark sky. And silver sky. Oh, good, 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 good luck, guys. Okay, ready for pullbacks. It's going to go over the edge. That's fine. And catch it. Lovely blend in there. So I'm just doing the sides because the canvas is so deep. I just want to make sure they're really covered as well. So I'm just going to take a bit of time to make sure I've got some lovely coverage. And I'll come back to that one. Dark cloud. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay. A kind of neutral horizon. So that blue and that grey are so close um, in um, colour. that they um, hardly, will hardly be, it, they're very subtle colours. There's not much um, contrast between them. 
so they will really um, it will really be lovely and blended land And oh, off the edge, the bottom part of the land. I mean, it could be water. It depends how it turns out. So I'm going to take the um, what's in the cups and just do my sides. And I'll go all the way around the canvas. Before I stretch, I want to fill this up with some neutral grey and some white so it kind of um, falls off the edge. I'm going to tilt very slowly this way first towards the um, paint catcher. torch after I've finished tilting but I had a couple of huge air bubbles so I thought I would get rid of them now before they caused me any problems and then I went back to my tilting. So I've got this lovely, I wanted that movement of it running down a bit off the canvas, it's looking lovely. This is looking really nice as well. I may put a line in there. You've got the beautiful horizon. Now I've got cells here. I don't want cells, so I'm going to kind of remove them by playing with the paint. Now I could swipe across, but I'm going to just drag and see what happens.
yes, so I've finished playing and I'm really, really happy with this painting. It's just so soft. I know it doesn't look soft to you guys, but these neutrals, they're just so close in colour. There's not much contrast, but where you've got this beautiful Payne's Grey, which is going to dry really dark, it looks blue, that where it's merged with some other colours, you will get a light blue tone, but it's going to dry really dark. So it's going to be lovely, neutral and calming. It's really beautiful. The silver here is just going to leave a trail of um, shimmer when it dries. The sky blue and the neutral grey are just so similar in tone. It's, it's just very calming. I'm really pleased with it. Here's the dried piece and I can't tell you how much I love this painting. It's only small. It's only 25 by 25 centimetres. But I love the serenity of the piece and the calmness. The neutral colours just work so well together and then you've got hits of um, the darker colours. And also I think it really works well on the deep canvas. I think it's a 3.5 centimetre deep canvas and it just really looks beautiful. Please do check out Dwight and Natalie's um, videos for this um, collaboration. I'm really looking forward to seeing their pieces. Their work is beautiful and there's links in the description to their work. I've named this painting and breathe because that's what I would do if I was in this location. I would just let out a big breath and relax. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.